Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. A devotional by Ellen White. February 13th. Uproot every seed of doubt. Sweet promise is given to all who believe. Behold, I come quickly, mine own to receive. Hold fast till I come, the danger is great. Sleep not as do others, be watchful and wait. Yes, this is our hope, tis built on his word. The glorious appearing of Jesus our Lord. Of promises all, it stands as the sum. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast till I come. Hold fast till I come. Sweet promise of heaven, the kingdom restored to you shall be given. Come enter my joy, sit down on my throne. Bright crowns are in waiting. Hold fast till I come. Uproot every seed of doubt. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. We are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 through 39. I saw that we are now in the shaking time. Satan is working with all his power to wrest souls from the hand of Christ and cause them to trample underfoot the Son of God. Character is being developed. Angels of God are weighing moral worth. God is testing and proving his people. These words were presented to me by the angel. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. God is displeased that any of his people who have known the power of his grace should talk their doubts and by thus doing make themselves a channel for Satan to transmit his suggestions to their minds. A seed of unbelief and evil sown is not readily rooted up. Satan nourishes it every hour and it flourishes and becomes strong. A good seed sown needs to be nourished, watered, and tenderly cared for because every poisonous influence is thrown about it to hinder its growth and cause it to die. Satan's efforts are more powerful now than ever before, for he knows that his time to deceive is short. God's people will be sifted even as corn is sifted in a sieve until all the chaff is separated from the pure kernels of grain. We are to look to Christ for an example and imitate the humble pattern. I was shown the saint's reward, the immortal inheritance. Then I was shown how much God's people had endured for the truth's sake and that they would count heaven cheap enough. They have reckoned 
that the sufferings of this present time were not worthy to be compared with the glory which should be revealed in them. The people of God in these last days will be tried, but soon their last trial will come and then they will receive the gift of eternal life. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.